Kelsky eventually took to speed skating after watching a neighborhood kid compete at the 2002 Olympics. That kid was Apollo Ono. Ready. And eight years later, when Selsky arrived at U.S. trials, he appeared to be the heir apparent in the world of U.S. short track speed skating. I trained all summer knowing that this could either make me or break me. This is what I had been training for. This very moment, this year, this Olympics. Ready? At U.S. trials five months ago, JR had already earned a place on the Olympic team when he towed the line in the semifinal of his last event, the 500 meter. He literally flew into that last corner. And the next thing I hear him yelling, and then I see blood. Out on the ice. Emergency personnel to the ice. I had to uh, pull the blade out of my way. I was this far away from one of the major arteries in your body, and if you cut that, you bleed out in 10 seconds. I didn't know what to expect. And I was scared of dying. First thing when he looked up at me, he said, Mommy, it's over. And I said, No, it's not over, JR. Selsky needed 60 stitches to repair a seven inch bone deep slice in his left thigh. That he returned in time to march an opening ceremony was incredible enough. That the very next night he realized his family's long held hopes was triumph of the sweetest sort. Apollo Anton Ono with the silver, J.R. Selsky with the bronze won a race. J.R., back in September, you were on the stretcher and you said to your mother, it's over. Can you describe what this moment is like for you? It's just going by so fast, I can't even describe anything that's going on right now. I'm so happy.